South Florida. The Bulls, new head coach Alex Golesh. And look, and I hope I say that right, Golesh. I think that's right. Uh, but this team was has been putrid for a long, long time. And now, uh, from all indications, that culture change down there has been uh, quite the revamp. I will say that. Uh, I'm a I'm a fan of what they're doing already. So let's dive into it. 3.19 and 8.81 last season. Uh, and yet they went 1-11. and 11. Like, there's a reason why Scott was fired. I mean, it's just nuts. Um, let's, let's just start off with that. They didn't win a single game in conference last year. Let's just start with the returning production, number 93 in the country, uh, number 113 on offense, number 43 on defense, and that defense was huh, awful. I mean, just awful. Uh, not good at all. Uh, number 131 PPA per drive on on defense. Uh, so PPA per drive allowed, whatever. Moving over to the offense. Let's start on the offense here. Goles said that the running back unit is the strength of the team. They've got ex-Florida running back Naquan Wright, along with ex-North Dakota State running back Dominic Gunella added. Uh, you're also, you know, the, you lose Brian Batie. He heads over to, I think, Auburn. Uh, but you, you got some dudes there. You got dudes. The quarterback battle between Bohannon Brown and the Coastal Carolina backup Bryce Archie, that's going to be interesting to watch. I think Bohannon is going to win that thing. Uh, but the other guys are actually showing out in camp right now. Offensive line, they brought in four talented transfers. The wide receiver, they got tons of P5 transfers there uh, as well. I I think that the offense could be really good this year. I think they could be really good, especially if Golesh brings in that that same hypo offense. We'll, we'll see what happens here. We'll see what happens. So, uh, on defense, Todd Orlando is the new defensive coordinator. You know his name. You know who that guy is. Uh, lots of experience coming back. Again, number 43 in adjusted returning production on defense. Uh, defense Vins, Vaughn, and Logan, they return with the defensive tackle Cheney. They brought in multiple P5 transfers uh, for some pretty good depth on that defensive line. The linebacker unit, they got multiple guys back. That includes DJ Gordon the fourth, and the secondary is almost completely intact, but man, they were awful. Number 130 in passing success rate. So, uh, this team probably going to have to outscore some other teams uh, this year. They are projected favorites in five games. Their win total sits at four. So, four wins is the win total for this team. To go over is minus 125. To go under is minus 105 over at BetUS. To win the conference, they're plus 4,800, which is a little shorter than I thought it would be. Uh, I've got them going five and seven. I, I believe in what they're doing. I believe in a, a senior quarterback that's been there for a long time. I believe in uh, some of these guys that they've added. They went 4-29 and over the last three seasons. Only one of those wins was against an FBS team. you got to turn over a lot of losing here, but I think they can do it with this schedule. Uh, they've got a lot of transfers coming in for depth or or potentially starting this year. You're going to need them to gel quickly. I think Golesh's offense is easy enough to learn that they can get out there and feel comfortable and just go play. So I think they've got some talent. Uh, on, on defense, they're number five as far as roster strength. On offense, they're number nine, but I think it could go higher than that. Uh, we'll see. We'll obviously see. Uh, the question, the key to the season, is Bohannon staying healthy, I think. Uh, this team is talented enough with a favorable schedule to potentially go bowling. Like, it, I, I think they've got a real shot here. And so, uh, you know, you turn that game at UConn into a win, or maybe you beat Florida Atlantic or at UAB, uh, I could see them maybe getting to six wins. Um, we'll see about Alex Golesh, right? That first time head coach, this one's going to be very interesting. This is a team that is used to losing. Uh, you know the old cliche of uh, lose big, then lose small, then win small, then win big. That's what you're trying to do as you progress with the team. But I think this team has lost big for a long time. Uh, I think I think they could flip this thing around because they got the talent to be able to do so. So we shall see. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.